I just updated my CSGO and for some reason it took an entire gigabyte out of my storage. Um, and the first thing I met with is uh, words when I load the game. Um, why did this take one gigabyte out of my fucking storage, dude? God knows. I'm gonna summarize this uh, text for you guys real quick, but uh, basically Valve has acknowledged that um, they don't give a fuck and they haven't been given a fuck for a little bit, which is is fair because esports teams are very not profitable and esports as a whole is not profitable. I mean, they even acknowledged it in this text. Over the past few years, we've seen professional Counter-Strike drift away from that ideal. The ecosystem has become gradually less open with access to higher levels of competition increasingly gated by business relationships. Uh, that's because they took so long to fucking step in and they're still gonna take too long to step in and I'm gonna say why. So they go further into uh, explaining it, except they didn't really give enough of a fuck to like fully explain what the fuck they were gonna say. So instead they just said, hey, here's the summary of like the most important things and the tinier things that are gonna fuck over the entire esports, we're gonna, we're gonna keep out of this for now. Uh, starting with the first one, uh, tournament organizers will no longer have unique business relationships or other conflicts of interest with teams that participate in their events. I'm assuming this is relating to gambling because that's the only example I can fucking think of. Um, if they're getting rid of gambling or gambling sites, which they have been, they've been cracking down on gambling websites for fucking... Uh, about, a, about a two years. I'm assuming that's what this is relating to, especially when gambling websites are outright sponsoring entire tournaments, and then they are also sponsoring certain teams. Like, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a little fucking... Mm. Second point. Invitation to all tournaments will use our ranking system, detailed here, or otherwise be determined by open qualifiers. I don't care enough to read into this. I'm assuming that they want to take more control over how teams are put into tournaments, which is completely fine. You know what? Valve is finally taking control about fucking something. Uh, this last one, I kind of looked at and I, I couldn't... I don't... I don't know what they're talking about, if I'm being honest. Maybe I'm too out of the loop with CSGO, but I, I don't... I can't think of an example of them doing this. Uh, any compensation for participating teams, prize pool, or otherwise will be made public and will be driven by objective criteria that can be inspected by the community. Weren't prize pools already open to the public? You can go on a website and see how much each team has earned from each tournament ever. I, I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. I, I don't. I don't know what this is relating to. Because as far as I know, you can literally look up how much each team has earned. I mean, for example, let's go back to 2014. We'll look this up, right? I mean, the fucking, the prize pools are right here. They even go through 9th through 12th and 13th through 16th. So I don't, you can even go to DreamHack, look up their prize pools. Once again, it goes all the way down to 13th, 16th. Uh, let's go to fucking Tech Labs Cup number three. Uh, once again, prize pools are listed. I don't, you know, they might be blocking out some of the older ones, but um, hold on, let's go back. We'll go to online qualifiers. Once again, uh, shit, they might have not gotten prize pools. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe they don't. They don't list every single one. But I mean, the the ones that are important <laughs> have the <laughs> have the prize pools now the issue with all of these is that this doesn't fucking matter for a while um this takes effect in 2025 why i'm assuming you know obviously the first sentence since tournament organizers have existing long-term commitments they're trying to rule like cycle out essentially the fucking companies like i'm, I'm assuming gambling websites because that's their biggest fucking kryptonite right now completely fine uh, but once again, they could have done this a lot sooner. I feel like this is going to delay CS2. Uh, this is kind of the bad news about this esports thing. Um, Valve is very close to uh, keeping esports alongside their video games. If this is happening in 2025, I don't think CS2 is coming by 2023. Maybe 2024 and then maybe like middle of 2024 and then the esports will start up in winter or sometime 2025. I think they're going to delay CS2, and I think they're also going to delay the esports for CS2. I think the game is getting to a point where it's ready to be released. I mean, all the maps play fine, all the guns play fine, all the new things that they're adding play fine. I think they're just kind of refining it at this point, but even then, they're still going to probably delay it. I think this is kind of just a mask. I'm sure, you know, 
Counter-Strike, aka Valve, is going to come out with more info about this, and it's going to absolutely blow even more cock. Um, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll see.